held up. Back it comes to Jordan Clark in the penalty area. He teases one in. Free header for John. Where on earth is the market? Nine minutes in, Luton Town head themselves in front. And there wasn't a defender in sight. Yeah, I'm not sure what was going on there. I think Smithy's having words with the centre halves. He couldn't miss. I mean, he had so much. There was no three or four yards either side of him. Left-hand side for the Cherries, just over halfway. Sinistera and Solanke linking up. Solanke did well, led into his man, leads him off it. And here's Sinistera into the penalty with an angle to shoot. In the end, he went for the near post, and Kaminsky repelled the danger. Back to Christie, to the left-hand side, and Watara onto his right foot. Dongo Watara swings one towards goal with his right foot, and in the end, it's curled off target. Yeah, good attacking work down the left-hand side again. Again, the shot just over the crop. Well by about a yard just over the crossbar, just trying to kill it in on the far post. Well, Sinister a right to go himself in the previous phase, Willow, to uh, go for the near post and see it blocked by the goalkeeper. Wasn't much angle to play with, with his left foot. Loads of room for Alex Scott on halfway here, right at the centre circle, fred by Lewis Cook. Alex Scott travelling, 30 yards from goal, sees it to the left, and now Sinistera, room to get it out of his feet. Right-footed effort from Sinistera, low towards the near post. It's comfortably saved in the end by Kaminsky. Yeah, it needed a lot more power, and Alex Scott is fuming with him, because he ran right round the back of him, looking for a little slip in. No, there's a lot of goal to shoot at. Then they do get their back three pretty high up the pitch as well, Luton, don't they? Well, I've been impressed with the, the, the goalkeeper on that fact as well. He's, he's, he's come for everything that's gone behind us. It's very early, isn't it? That's a good ball in behind. Here's Alfie Doughty inside left channel, squares it across the box, and it's 2 0 to Luton as Obele turns it in at the back post. And again, you simply have to wonder what is going on with Bournemouth defending. Doughty had the freedom of Dorset, left side of the penalty area, slid it across the six yard box. Ogbene piled in, knocked it into the net, and 31 minutes gone for the second game in succession. Bournemouth a 2 0 down at home to a team in the bottom three. So, Lewis Cook with an outswinging corner. We don't see these very often from the Cherries. I mentioned that before. In towards the penalty spot where Sinister is free, takes a deflection, spun up towards the back post where Solanke couldn't quite get there, and it'll be another corner to the Cherries on the left hand side. Oh, the ball does have a habit of landing at Sinistera, doesn't it, from corners? From the right, two behind, Christie into the six-yard line, there's Burke with a free header to clear that one away for Luton, unchallenged. Loose ball picked up by Scott, now Lewis Cook, he's going to go for goal, Lewis Cook, that's on target, punched away in front of his chest by Kaminsky, just tumbling to his right. Now Zabani swings one in towards the back post, but Christie's there, but Christie was easily out-muscled and out-strengthed there by Ross Barkley, and it goes behind for a goal kick to Luton. And now Morris out to the right-hand side of Kabore and Luton getting white shirts up in support here. Barkley's charging on ahead of Kabore if he sees him. He spots him now. Ross Barkley into the penalty area for Everton. Blasted into the back of the net. It is 3-0 to Luton Town. Quite a remarkable first half here at the Vitality Stadium. If they came to do it for Tom Lockyer, they're absolutely doing their job. It is Bournemouth nil, Luton Town 3. Well, we all didn't see this one coming. That finish by Barkley, absolutely immaculate. I'm thinking the only place he can beat the keeper is high. As Cook whips it in towards the near post. Guess who? Heads it away again on the edge of the six-yard line. Cleared out to the left-hand side. Back it comes to Ryan Christie. 40 yards out, trying to get the referee out of the way. Comes back to Tavernier to shoot. He was quickly charged down by another former Manchester United player, Chong. Breaks in the box. Solanke was being held. He's still going through. Oh, that's a sensational centre forward play from Dominic Solanke, who was being held, then rolled the centre back round the penalty spot and chipped it over the advancing goalkeeper. He scored in the original fixture, Dominic Solanke. That one was wiped out. This one counts. 50 minutes gone, Bournemouth immediately give themselves a leg up back into the game. Well, that's just what we needed. Dominic, absolutely superb. Really strong on the ball, holding people off, just waiting for his moment to get a little clip around the corner. And finished it with real aplomb. When his goal was chalked off for handball, 
and it's precisely what Bournemouth needed. And here goes Tavernier, storming through the centre circle to the right hand side. It goes at Antoine Semenyo, bearing down on the penalty area, onto his left foot. Semenyo! Oh, that is a sensational shot, which I think has just glanced the top of the bar from Antoine Semenyo. Oh, dear me. I, I knew he was going to come inside. I was just waiting for him to drop the shoulder. Just couldn't get enough curve on it towards the goal. As Lewis Cook from the left-hand side prepares to deliver this corner for Bournemouth in front of the north stand, into the near post, flicked towards goal, cleared off the line, Zabani headed off the line again, claims it's gone over, referee says no, then he says yes! The Tories have scored! Semenyo's in there, Zabani got the header towards goal, I think, as well. The Cherries suffered a goal line fate against them on Saturday. Today, the referees watch judges in the Cherries' favour. Ball over the line, 62 minutes gone. It's Bournemouth 2, Luton Town 3. Well, that is quite incredible. For once, that we do get a decision. And who's, who's got the goal? Is it Zaba? Lots of ball bouncing around, but the, the referees watch doesn't tell a lie. As Ryan Christie swings across field ball into loads of space and Semenyo again. And again, the red and black shirts are absolutely charging forward to join him. Semenyo in the box, onto his left. It is 3 3. It is a comeback of monumental proportions. Unbelievable. 19 minutes ago, the Cherries were 3 0 down and almost hopeless. And now they have more than hope. It's Bournemouth 3, Luton Town 3. Well, that is quite incredible. You know, as soon as the menu cooks in, what he's trying to do, he's trying to find a way of getting his shot out off with that left foot of his, and this time, it's not the far post he goes for, he goes near. Loads of power, goalkeeper no chance. Unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. Matara over the halfway line down this left hand side for the Cherries. BBC Radio Solon. Here's Matara again, moving forward towards Solanke, who now wants it laid off, who now gets oh. it laid off. Right in the D, centre position on his right foot, and didn't have the power or direction to beat Kaminsky. He didn't catch it, did he? In the last four midweek games the Cherries have played in the Premier League, they've taken 10 points, they have performed well under the lights and they might still have a chance Semenyo of making his in. three. Semenyo playing in behind here. Room for Antoine Semenyo! We did not see this script coming. Antoine Semenyo makes it 4-3 to the Cherries. Luton looked home and hosed at half-time. But there's something about the second half for the Cherries this week. Absolutely unbelievable. I could just see but once he dropped the ball off, he, he was aiming for the space. He kept running and it was just could they get the ball to him and he did. As he hit that with his right foot. That is some strike with your wrong foot. Absolutely unbelievable.